might not be good. Lots of sun. I would hold you here, but I think this is the best way. Sorry for the sun. Let's see if I can maybe do like that. Is that okay? Okay, guys, I am eating my lunch. Today's the first day back from Christmas break. Sorry for my ghetto nails. You might see some missing nails. I didn't get a chance to get my nails done before we returned. But yeah, guys, it's a lot of it's a lot of chaos going on. Just as far as like a lot of people are just still debating like whether or not we should return, we should have returned or not. A lot of students are out, a lot of teachers are out. I actually had a lot of kids return. So but I, I do also still have a lot of kids out. Like, um, people were just shocked at how many kids had returned from my class, but still half of them were out. But that's just to give you an idea of how many kids are out. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what we did today. We're just doing some resetting, going over um, class rules, expectations hallway expectations my kids are super amazing like they didn't really need it like they were already on point like when, even when I picked them up this morning walking in the hallway like they were on point I was like wow you guys are amazing I'm very lucky but um yeah so today we their morning work I have them color. Happy New Year. Oh, everybody got a new set of crayons. So these are some left over. But everybody got a new set of crayons. Everybody got a brand new pencil to start the year off right. Um, everybody got a brand new glue stick so I wanted to restock the kids supplies new year new school supplies <laughs> um, and yeah and so we talked about new year's resolutions after we went over our class rules and we talked I explained to them what a resolution is I might show you that slide so here I'll show it to you now so we sorry for the glare guys we started off with our happy new year we did our balloon breathing, our sharing, our morning message, and then we went over our class rules. And then we talked about New Year's resolutions. And I said, raise your hand if you've ever heard growing up talking about resolutions. And everybody raised their hand. And I said, a resolution is the decision to do something with determination. And then we just talked about how at the beginning of a new year, a lot of grown-ups like to set goals or things that they want to set their mind up to do or to achieve for that particular year, just because it, it feels like, you know, a new year, a fresh start, a new beginning, um, something to work towards. And then I gave them some ideas, like for example, make healthier food choices or do at least one chore at home. And they were kind of looking like, ooh. <laughs> um, and so we came up with two, re actually three, a resolution for school, a resolution for home, and then also a personal resolution was one of the ones too. So I gave them some examples. Maybe they wanna be able to read a chapter book or get better at math, be able to count by twos with ease or get straight A's on their report card or keep their, de oh, they actually came up with a really good one. One student was like, I wanna keep my desk clean. I was like, that is an excellent goal. Um, and their uh, resolutions for home, maybe start eating healthier. That's actually more of a personal goal and then maybe help out around the house, do a chore once a week. Um, and so, yeah, so then I passed out these uh, little people thingies and they had different choices. So this was one of the options for the girls. There's another option up there. And then I gave the boys two different options. Sorry, my stuff is all over the place. And then they had to write down their personal resolution. And then also, uh, somebody started writing on this and they didn't finish uh, a new year this was the cover then they wrote a resolution for school and then also a resolution for home and when they were done 
we cut them out. This is my little model one that I did, but I didn't color it or finish it or anything. We cut out the squares and we glued them. So it has their little peep person. It says my new year's resolution, a uh, resolution for school, and then a personal resolution. So just something really cute and fun to do. I left it on the paper. I didn't cut the person out, but definitely like if you want to put this up on a bulletin board, you could definitely cut out the person, but I didn't have them do all that. And it was super cute. And this was a freebie on Teachers Pay Teachers. I literally found it this morning, <laughs> or was it last night? But super found it super last minute, just something fun for the kids to do on the first day back. So if you're interested, I'll definitely link this freebie from Teachers Pay Teachers in the description box. But yeah, guys, right now I'm eating my salad. I am on my New Year's resolution. This actually is not a New Year's resolution. I've been doing this since November, October. Like I told you guys, you guys can go back and watch my old vlogs about making healthier decisions. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. I prayed. I did my affirmations, my self meditation, you know, just literally thinking about my day, thinking about my goals, thinking about the steps that I need to do to achieve them, the day-to-day -day steps, the week-to-week -week steps, the hour-by-hour -hour steps, the minute-to-minute -minute steps that I need to do to achieve my goals. Um, and then I made some coffee, let Max out. <laughs> um, you know, just, I had a really relaxed morning and, you know, I, I, I cooked breakfast, I worked out for an hour because the program that I'm subscribed to, they started this new thing where they just hired on a bunch of other new coaches so that they could have different times. It used to be at one certain time every single day at six, was it six o'clock or 6.30? I think 6.30 every day. And that was fine, but just like being a teacher and all, when I got home from work, I was very much tired. And so I would really have to work up the discipline to work out. But even now I still have to work up the discipline because I have to wake up early enough to work out. So they have a bunch of different classes now. One starts at 6 a.m. They have another one at 7, 7.30. So they added a bunch of different times, which is really helpful. I'm really loving this program I'm with. Um, and so yeah, I woke up at 6 a.m., did my workout at home. Love working out from the comfort of my own home. Got a sweat in. Took my shower, got dressed, ate my breakfast. Like, it was a very chill morning. Like, I was able to get a little bit of things ready for today. Papers and just to-do lists for when I got to school. And now I just value my mornings. Like, just waking up and having that little extra time to myself. Instead of just waking up, getting dressed, getting ready to go. Like now i see that it's very necessary to wake up have some time to yourself like a a nice decent amount of time like even if you can only fit in 15 or 30 minutes that's good but if you can fit in like an extra hour or hour and a half or two hours to yourself to do what you want to do and to take care of yourself you're going to be feeling you're going to start your day feeling amazing and so yeah guys That's the tea. There's actually a lot more tea, but I don't know if I should talk about it on camera as far as like the union and everything and things that are going on. But um, I'm sure if you watch the news, then you should know the deal with teachers and the schools. So yeah, guys, so far so good. First, good first day back, can't complain. Oh, after we worked on that, that took us a nice chunk of time. We took, because they had to color it, they had to cut out, they had to write first, then they had to color, then they had to cut it out, then they had to glue. So it took us about an hour and a half. And then we went on our bathroom break, and then we came back. We reviewed subjects and predicates, so let me show you that really quick. So we went over what a simple sentence has, a subject and a predicate. I also have a little poster up over there. You probably can't see it, but it's on that window. Subject. And we went over this, who or what, and then we identified the subject. They did really good. They were identifying the subject very quickly. Then we went over predicates, and they did good with this. So this was a quick review. Um, and then right after that, I uh, had them write their own sentences. So I gave them this, and we did one, one side of it together. 
So I said, they gave you a subject and I told them, I want the, the, the nouns to be your subject because uh, kind of when we were making up sentences, they would say something like, I have a ring or I like this one, I have a flat tire. And I said, that's a correct sentence. However, um, you when we start sentences with I, now we're making the subject I. And what is the predicate? Have a flat tire, right? Have. So I want the subject to be the noun that they give you. So we practice not saying I, 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 I so much, right? The globe spins. The ring is expensive. They came up with this. Tiny fish swim in the water. The wallet has money. Um, and we did these kind of together, came up with them, and then I gave them 10 minutes to come up with sentences on their own. I told them I'm looking to see if they made the noun the subject. I told them I don't want to see a bunch of I, I, I sentences, and I told them I'll be grading them based on, again, making these nouns the subject of the sentence, and then also starting their sentences with capital letters and ending with periods. And then the day was pretty much, oh, and then it was time for them to go to lunch, and I'm at my lunch now, getting ready to pick them up in about 10 minutes. Oh yeah, and we did a little bit of phonics too. Just a quick review. We reviewed um, some L blends and then ING and ED. So just turning those words uh, into ING words or ED words. We kind of re quickly reviewed this ED poster. I don't know, you, pro you guys probably can't see it. Oh, I have to focus it behind me because of the light. Oh, there it is. But yeah, we reviewed ED. Um, as we were going over phonics because for example like I might tell them to write the word grill g-r-i-l-l -L, because oh we went over l blends and r blends just a review and so I would have them write the word grill and then I would say okay now write grilling right so they had to add ing and then I said okay now write grilled we grilled yesterday we grilled hot dogs yesterday so that was a good review it sounds like we did a lot and I guess we kind of did like we did, we did fit a lot in. I think that's because I was planned. I toughed it out and planned like the last day of break. I didn't want to do it, but kind of just wrote down my thoughts, got my materials together. And so I'm ready for the week. Ready for the week. So yeah, guys, that is it. I, I have a feeling that this might be the only video for this week's vlog. <laughs> And so, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.